Is anyone else feeling socially awkward? <laughs> Such a relief. And so what's going on here is that we can feel socially awkward. And we can allow ourselves to feel whatever it is that we feel, whatever it is that we think. When we come to these balanced view centers around the world, we're simply introduced to the nature of our mind. The nature of our mind that is completely free, vast and open, completely comfortable, no matter what's arising within it. No matter what the content of our mind, the nature of our mind is fundamentally flawless, crystal clear. And to introduce ourselves to the nature of our mind, to that clarity, to that alertness, that presence that's completely available right here, right now, that's undistracted by any thought, emotion and sensation, to introduce ourselves very directly, we just simply stop thinking. Just for a moment, just pause descriptions and just recognize that there's something about us that's, that's present, that's here, that's comfortable, that's alert and open like the sky. And simply we just call that nature open intelligence. And that open intelligence is present whether we're thinking or whether there are no thoughts. And that's what we're introduced to at the Balance View Center in the Balance View training, that there's something about us that is completely stable no matter what the flurry of thoughts, emotions and sensations are. So however it is that you're feeling now, whether there's a positive thought, a negative thought, a socially awkward sensation, right now you can just allow yourself to be as you are and just simply see that there's something about you that remains present regardless of the descriptions that are arising for us. We simply start to see that all thoughts, emotions and sensations, and quite simply to refer to all these, we just simply title it data streams. We see data just simply vanish naturally, leaving no trace, like a design drawn in space, leaving no trace. We see that it just naturally self-releases without us needing to do anything. So when we are feeling socially awkward in this very moment, we have a really powerful opportunity to just allow ourselves to feel that awkwardness and to see that we actually don't need to do anything about it for it to just naturally release. That's its natural disposition. Just to allow it to be as it is instead of meddling with the data, meddling with the description, which I know is how I've related to social awkwardness. There's something got to be done with it because to feel socially awkward is a bad thing. To feel socially awkward means my speech will look like this. To feel socially awkward means I might need a drink to not feel socially awkward. I might need to do something in order to not feel this awkwardness because it's been labeled in my experience as a negative aspect of who I am. Maybe I need to hide away, stay in my room because I'm feeling this awkwardness. Maybe I need to speak so I don't feel that awkwardness and so that other person doesn't feel that awkwardness. But there's always something I know for myself before meeting this training that I was trying to do with this social awkwardness. Can anyone else relate to that? Something's got to be done. And that takes a lot of work, trying to do something with something that is vast and free, that has no independent nature from open intelligence. All data are inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue in the sky, or like the breeze in the air. It has no independent nature of itself. But by giving it power and meaning, by believing that it does, 
Well, it leads us into quite wild and weird ways of being. That's definitely my experience. Having to do something with something that is fleeting, momentary, that is inseparable from this open intelligence it was a painful and suffering-based lifestyle. And then when I met this training, I was just empowered to allow it to be as it is, completely relaxed when that awkwardness comes up. Allow that awkwardness to be as it is. And see, I don't need to act in any particular way. I don't need to speak in any particular way. I don't need to hide out in any particular way. I can just sit up here on stage and feel completely comfortable whilst feeling the surges of energy, the wild thoughts that still come up, are coming up. But seeing that there's a choice now, there is just a simple choice that I can make moment to moment. I can choose to be a victim to this data stream or I can empower the data stream by just allowing it to be as it is and recognizing what's fundamental, what's present, inseparable from the data and that is open intelligence. And a simple way, a simple tool that's bestowed on us when we come to the training is just short moments, short moments of recognizing open intelligence and repeating that many times until the recognition of open intelligence just goes brighter and brighter and just becomes continuous. So when that awkwardness comes up, and for me, it just comes up all the time and it's so random. I don't plan it to come up, it just comes up. It comes up throughout my days in situations that I find really odd. It comes up with my parents who I've known my whole life, you think I'd feel quite comfortable there. But it can just come up in any given moment. So ultimately, we definitely want a tool that can just support us when it's coming up, whether it's in those times where we, where we expect it or don't expect it. We just want to be ultimately prepared for all situations all moments of our day-to-day -day life because it's erratic and data are unpredictable, countless and ceaseless. So to have a tool with us that just resets us back to this stability is gold, just pure gold. And what's been offered here is specific instructions and means to just in empower this recognition moment to moment. And so short moments, this great tool, this short moment that we can just take with us throughout our day. So today, for instance, awkwardness will come up in one way or another. Depression may arise. Anxiety may arise. Fear may arise for us. Data will arise. And so now we have a tool that's just been given to us that we can just naturally use whenever we remember to do so and see that we actually can show up in all ways unaffected by our data, unaffected by ingrained data, data that we've attributed an independent nature to for our whole lives. And all of a sudden now we have a tool that actually supports us in that very moment to clarify that data once and for all. And what's exciting about this training is that it's all based on us testing it out in our, our direct experience. So these glorious words that we hear in the videos, that we hear in the texts, in the audios, shared by trainers and other participants, they sound brilliant, but unless it's our direct experience, then they're shallow, they're hollow, they don't mean anything. So we want to test it out, we want to get real. We want to take a stand for our lives, show up to be empowered beings, completely unaffected by our data, and to live as this open intelligence, to live as this powerful, exalted being that is us. This is who we are. It has such a profound effect when we go out into the world when we're with our family, when we're with our friends, when we're at work, 
when we're just going about our day-to-day -day lives and seeing that naturally we're not being distracted by our data, negative, positive or neutral. So now that social awkwardness is a powerful tool for us. It's one of our greatest allies, not the enemy we always thought. Because it just evokes this recognition of open intelligence, the stability that is inseparable from all data. And to test it out from the practice of short moments, it's so simple and so effortless. Whenever we naturally remember to take a short moment, we take a short moment. Cool, easy going. If we forget, all is well. Because at one point that recognition, that introduction will come alive for us, will be ignited. And so coming back here each morning is a powerful way to just ignite that recognition. To take short moments is a perfect way to ignite that recognition. And so in Balance View, we offer just a simple empowerment network to really support that recognition to come alive in our direct experience. And that's called the Four Mainstays. And the Four Mainstays encompass the practice of short moments, training and training media that is just designed to empower us to just get comfortable with ourselves. The things that we aren't comfortable with is what we want to get comfortable with. And when we start to taste the benefit of being comfortable with social awkwardness, I know for myself, we just want to take it further. We want to see how we can empower all data, all the things like paranoia and embarrassment that I've been running away from, fear, anxiety, all these data that had such power over me. Once I saw social awkwardness could be as it is, I had the actual choice now to see all data as just the shine of mind, the brilliant shine of mind, where nothing about it needs to change. Everything I wanted to change is now just my greatest strength because I'm not getting lost in spending my time and energy trying to banish things from my experience. Everything is welcome here. We're just empowered to be as we are here. I've never experienced a place like this. So to have trainings available to support that is just the greatest gift. And then to have trainers available to just share their experience of massive breakthroughs great assurance and great strength in living as this intelligence. The intelligence that's innate and primary for us all. The trainers have just dedicated themselves to living as this and just simply sharing their experience, sharing the breakthroughs and realizations, what's worked, supporting us so we don't have to go through the pitfalls, if there are any pitfalls. And we have a community, which is the fourth mainstay, which is just people showing up in their own way, getting comfortable with themselves as they are. We all come from different backgrounds. We've all had different experiences, different belief systems, assumptions on life. We like different music, we play different sports. But what unites us all is this intelligence. And each one stepping up and claiming this intelligence as their birthright claiming this intelligence as what's primary and fundamental. I'm just so inspired by that because I spent a lot of time just thinking about what I think about and it just didn't lead anywhere. It just did not lead anywhere, cause such suffering, such confusion. Because nature of my mind is. And so that's what's given to us here, a proper education, a proper introduction. And it's just simply available for each of us to enjoy in, in our own way. There's no rush. Sometimes slowly, sometimes quickly, we taste the fruits of this magnificence and we want more. And sometimes we feel like we don't want more. But however it is for you, that is perfect. And all anyone is doing here at the center is just sharing their experience of what it's like to live free from ups and downs, 
free from attributing power and meaning to data. And so if you just hang around here with community and just ask the questions about people's experiences, you just get to see we're all very similar. We're all socially awkward at times, sometimes paranoid, sometimes blissful, excited. We all encompass data. But what unites us all is what's at the basis of that data, this intelligence that's primary, that's innate to us. And now we've been introduced to that. We have a choice. Do we want to train that up? When it feels like that recognition's gone, like a line drawn in water, just leaving no trace, open intelligence is still present and available even in thinking like we haven't got it that I missed it, I dropped it, I forgot it. Just another data inseparable from open intelligence. And when we get comfortable with that inseparability, when we get comfortable knowing ourselves as vast, open and free, completely clear, and when we tap into that through short moments, great benefit just pours forth just very naturally, in a very uncontrived way, where our speech changes, the way we use our body changes, the way we interact with our mind changes, our qualities and activities just enliven, not to benefit ourselves anymore, to benefit all, which includes us. And that just makes life wildly fun. And it just gets more incredible whilst feeling it all, whilst feeling affliction, negativity. We don't want anything to change. So social awkwardness just saturates every fiber of my being. <laughs> and it's just wonderful to welcome it all. And see, so it doesn't have to govern how I use my mind, speech, body, qualities, and activities. And then boom, great benefit for all. <laughs>